Hi there, welcome back to this channel and in this video we're going to have a look at Prism, AI and streaming and not only streaming in Prism but also Livewire stream. So if you like what I'm doing here on this channel please give it a like, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and do subscribe to this channel. This really helps me a lot. I have set myself a goal to reach 10k subscribers next year so yeah we're 4k in. Help me out. Thank you. All right, so without further ado, let's dive into the code, right? So I have this freshly installed Laravel project over here, which is just a Laravel starter kit with a live wire. I have the code base open here in my PHP storm. Um, and let's open that. And I have my warp open. So uh, let's start off with composer require prism PHP prism. This will install the package and yeah, we're good to go, right? Uh, next up, we want to create a Livewire component called Chatbot. So PHP Artisan make Livewire Chatbot. This will create a class for us and um, the blade file. So let's open those two. So in resources, views, Livewire Chatbot and in the app Livewire Chatbot PHP. So these are the two files that were created for us. Um, I'm going to start off with the front end code and I'm going to copy this in because, um, yeah, well, I created this before this uh, recording because I don't like people watching me type long tailwind clauses. So let's uh, walk through this real quick, right? So we have a header, uh, AI assistant, ask me anything. I have the messages container, which contains all the messages going back and forth between us and the AI model. Um, I have this um, justify and or justify start based on the role uh, user or bot. Uh, if it's a bot, it will be justified start. If it's a user, it will be justified end. Um, we have this white space pre-wrap to structure everything nicely. Um, and I have this raw content of the messages content. Um, and I have the messages content of myself when it's not a bot. All right, so I have this is processing state as well, the loading state, if you will, um, which will be uh, yeah a copy of one of those messages and just threw out some uh, if statements out there. and. In here we have this wire stream response. So this response is the thing that we're going to uh, stream towards using live wire stream. And basically everything will be in here in our stream. Then I also have this cute little animation of three dots uh, bouncing up and down. Um, and I have delay of zero, 01 and zero, 02 on the second and the third one. Then last but not least I have my form input which is a submission form towards the send messages function. And in here I have user model, uh, sorry, the wire model of user message, and I have a button. And that's, that's actually it. So let's start off with creating uh, that live wire component into our, um, let's see, our welcome page. No, not our welcome page. Let's close that one off, our dashboard. All right, so in our dashboard, I want a live wire dot uh, chatbot like that. And if I go to the browser and I refresh, I get an error and that's fine. Okay, cool. Let's start off creating our chatbot. So in chatbot PHP, let's actually start off with creating public uh, user message user message that is the message that will be sent towards our self so um, I also need a public um, is processing and I need a dollar sign here so very sorry about that and default that will be false and uh, I also need a public messages messages array all right so let's refresh here now I can see that my um, uh, npm run build isn't running sorry npm run def right that's it refresh all right cool so if I now write something 
nothing happens and I don't have any uh, send message clause uh, sorry function let's create that so public function send message like that and what we're going to do in this um, send message uh, function is first of all check if something is written in my user message so if empty user message I'm just going to return I'm not going to do anything here nothing nothing because um, yeah we don't have any user message so we can't do anything but I want to basically whenever a message is sent get rid of the message in the input and put it on the messages array so first of all I'm going to create another public property here um, public um, let's say user prompt user prompt like that sorry uh, okay um, yes user prompt like that okay so let's set that user prompt with user message and let's actually uh, this user message set that to nothing okay so if I now send something nothing happens if I send something it disappears that's what I want okay now I also want to add that to the messages array so like that and it the role of who is sending that message is the user because it's me sending that and I want the content to be equal to not user message because that is empty already to be the user prompt and let's now send something with an empty uh, an empty input nothing happens and if I do test I get test if I test it again I get again all right I think you get the picture right cool so now that we have that um, I can actually um, set the is processing variable to true refresh here and test again I have my three dots bouncing up and down and I have the container of my message ready um, so that's basically it for yeah the message itself now we can actually start using prism so let's start creating a, a stream variable and I want pris oops, prism the facade I want to use text all right and I want to be using entropic so entropic is that correct entropic yes uh, and I want to use Claude 3 Z 7 that's the current version actually and I want to use Sune and I want to use the latest implementation of that okay so um, I want to use with prompt as well because I want to send a user prompt and I have the Sun in my eyes which is very very annoying so I'm very sorry about that um, I want a user prompt of this user prompt as well and I want to use it as stream all right cool so this will um, send a message using prism to entropic using the model Claude uh, Sonne using my user prompt and I want a response as a stream towards my application all right cool so now I can use a for each to go through that stream and I want it as chunks so as a chunk of stream stream like that and I want this here there we go now there's something very important here I only want to use the message actually um, put something on my stream or put something on my uh, message whenever it's um, an instance of text basically tel delta text right um, if you want to you should check out the documentation of prism to be sure about that um, but basically let's um, let's check let's check this out so I want instance of so my chunk must be an instance of text delta event there are several events like um, uh, streaming start event and streaming ended event uh, but 
Delta text, actually text Delta is one of those events I want to um, look for. All right, so if this happens, I want to create another variable called um, public streaming response like that. And this will be used to actually, um, yeah, store it temporarily to put it into our um, messages array. Okay, so let's do this. Uh, this streaming response is chunk. No, it's expanded with what am I doing Woo. yes expanded with chunk Delta because the Delta is a variable within my chunk which is a text uh, part of our text Delta event all right cool I also want uh, to utilize this stream which is a live wire uh, thing basically and I want to stream towards response and if you remember correctly in here in my uh, blade file I have the stream response and that's actually where we're going to stream towards um, and I want that to be the same thing being chunk delta 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 like that that's it so whenever a stream comes in and it's a delta a text delta event i'm going to add it to my uh, stream response and i'm going to stream it directly to my response output as well all right cool so now i still need to add that to the messages array so messages um, array and i want this to be a rule not user but i want it to be the bot and I want the content to be the streaming response that we stored uh, earlier. All right, cool. So whenever this is done, um, I want to set the is processing to false again. I want to set the um, the streaming response to false, and I want to set the is uh, this user prompt user prompt to yeah nothing. And that's actually it for my function. Yes, that's it. So let's do this and tell me something about Taylor Owl. All right, HTTP request. Uh, okay, I, I'm going to do something off screen here. Um, just hold your horses real quick. I need to set my env environment variable Anthropic API key basically so um, wait I'm going to show you guys what that is without my key so basically in here um, I have this Anthropic API key right so very sorry about that but I can't show you my key there we go and there we go yes we're back so basically um, tell me something about uh, say whoops oh I'm hitting tab uh, Taylor oh well and I'm sending that and this takes a while because I did something wrong and I will show you what I did and I did it on purpose actually um, so in here in my chatbot send message is one function so whenever I set uh, uh, replace the user message with an empty string that won't be returned towards um, that won't be returned towards our front end until the end of that function. So basically, you will never see anything happening on the uh, streaming response using Livewire until 
the whole stream has ended and the is processing value is set back to false and then everything is updated on the front end so let's um, I'm kind of new with this shortcut thing for my screen so there we go that's fancy right um, so basically after setting this to true I want this whole part to be in another function so what we're going to do is we're going to split that up and call it public um, function uh, function talk to AI yeah let's call it that talk to AI so whenever we're going to try that again test something is happening but actually it's not so we need to find a way to um, call this function and we're going to use a simple thing called dispatch so dispatch dispatch and I'm going to dispatch um, an event called um, must ask AI this is uh, this is so stupid but all right so we're going to use an attribute for that so an on attribute uh, and on the event must ask AI we're going to run this part piece of code and that should work so let's try that again tell me something about uh, Taylor Otwell and there we go we have a streaming output and by the end of the stream it gets replaced because the streaming output is cleared and the message is in our messages database so it basically gets replaced and I can I can actually simulate that uh, very easily to show you guys so chatbot and we'll say if it's processing we'll put the background to orange let's say orange 500 like that um, like uh, what we're we going to ask uh, tell me uh, something about uh, Nuno Maduro Okay, orange is not working, but by the end of the... Have you seen it? Have you seen the... Yeah, the switch. So whenever um, the streaming gets replaced with the array, the gray background uh, reappears. And also, this isn't disabled anymore. So test. Well, that's it. This is basically how, um, how you can use Prism AI... Uh, live wire stream to create your own chatbot or AI assistant or what you will so I hope you like this video I hope you learned something please do like and subscribe and I will see you in one of the next videos so take care bye bye